Hi, I'm Jennifer Podolsky. I'm the Library Director at the East Brunswick Public Library. Today we're visiting New Beginnings Animal Rescue, located at 706 Cranberry Road, right here in East Brunswick. Today we're going to be talking to Barbara Keegan, Shelter Director, and she has a guest with her too. Who do you have here, Barbara? This is Boomer. He's our oldest resident. He's 16 years old Aww. and a very good boy. <laughs> Is Boomer up for adoption? Boomer is up for adoption. Great, we'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, Barbara, tell us a little bit about New Beginnings, how it got its beginning, and how long you've been around. Okay, New Beginnings Animal Rescue started, we opened here in May of 2014. Uh, a bunch of us were formerly involved with running a shelter that was in Saraville that closed down in th 2012. Once the shelter closed, we realized there was a big void here, and so we got a group together and formed a board and did some fundraising and found this location and took off. Great. And uh, how many volunteers do you have? We started out with about 20 volunteers. The outpouring of the community has been phenomenal. And as of last count at Christmas, I bought 80 volunteer gifts. So there's wow, 80 volunteers on the roster. That's great. It is great. It's wonderful. Wonderful. And uh, what kind of animals do you take in here? We do just know? do dogs and cats, puppies and kittens. We don't do any small guinea pigs or no snakes. Nothing like that <laughs> no here. snakes. Yeah. Okay. And um, what is the fee to adopt? What is the adoption process if someone is interested in a dog or cat from your shelter? Our adoption process is fairly easy. It's a one-page application. Basically, we check a vet reference. We verify that the adopter is allowed to have a pet where they live. We like everyone who lives in the home to come and meet before we do a final approval. Um, our adoption fees are very, very reasonable. Mm -hmm. um, to adopt a cat is $75. A kitten is 95 a dog is 100, a puppy is 175. For that fee, everyone is already spayed or neutered, Great. including the little ones, up to date with vaccines, tested, dewormed, checked by our vet. That's all included in the fee. Great. Now, if somebody wanted to help your rescue, um, what is the best way for them to do that? Okay, well, we need everything because we don't get anything provided to us by the government. We don't have any municipal contracts. so. We always need food donated, mostly cat food. We always need all types of supplies, bleach, laundry detergent, uh, trash bags, you name it. Anything you'd need in your home, Great. we need here to run. Is there a link on your website for that? Where there is. There is. Yes, there's a link to our Amazon wish list okay. on our website. Fundraising is really important. Um, most of our expenses are our veterinary bills. Mm -hmm. We're going to be in the Brunswick Square Mall on April 17th, which is a Sunday afternoon for an adoption day there right. and a community day. We also have a golf outing coming up on June 13th at Glenwood Country Club and our big car show on July 10th at the VFW in Serval. All great events. Great. And what if someone is interested in adopting, how should they go about that? What's your process? What, what would be the best way for them to do that? Well. People are welcome to stop by. It's great to meet the animals firsthand, but you can also get a preview by going either to our Facebook page, mm -hmm. our website, or our Pathfinder page. All of our animals are posted with photos and bios, and we keep it very current. So most people go take a look and see what's on there and then stop by to visit. Great. And as you said before, Boomer here is available for adoption? Boomer is available what's for adoption. What's his story? Does he have a story? He does have a story. He, he was owned by a woman who was 91 years old, um, had to move in with family members for health reasons, tried to keep him, but their dog did not care for him. Mm -hmm. So she reluctantly gave him up, but knows that he's safe here with us. He looks really friendly. He's, he's a doll. <laughs> he's really a good boy. So one of our favorites here, volunteer favorites, is Bob Dillon. He is about three years old. He was rescued from outside. He was in a feral cat colony, but obviously he's not feral. He is super friendly, a big mush, head butter, loves people. <laughs> um, Bob Dylan is, however, FIV positive, which means he has feline AIDS. Um, not detrimental, he's just a carrier of the disease. Best in a home where he will get along with other cats because it can be spread through a deep bite. And so if he was with someone that he didn't get along with and bit them, it could be spread. But otherwise, he's fine. He's out and about here. He's a great cat. So Mousy is a cute little black and white guy. 
He's about a year old. He also was rescued from a colony outdoors. Um, he was going to be fixed and put back out until his rescuer realized he had a very strange gait. When she brought him into the doctor, they realized he is missing a foot on his one of his back legs. And uh, so she asked us if we would take him in rather than put him outside. He is a friendly cat. He's a little bit shy, but he's very, very sweet. And it's really cool to watch him walk because he compensates for the loss of the foot really, really well. He would do good probably in just about any home. Very sweet. Samson is six years old. He's a great big orange tabby with a white tipped tail. We rescued him from a high kill shelter where he was scheduled to be euthanized. He was surrendered by his owner. Very, very sweet cat, very loving, big mush, just wants to sit on your lap. Okay, so this is Buddy. He is four and a half years old. He's a black lab mix, probably mixed with maybe a little Roddy or a little Pitbull. We don't know his heritage for sure. He has been with us for a couple of months. Um, unfortunately, black dogs are the last to be adopted and so are black cats in the sheltering world. People just tend to favor other colors. Uh, we don't know why, it's just the way it is, but this is one awesome dog. He is fantastically housebroken, never ever has an accident, walks real well on a leash. He's good with older kids. He actually loves little kids, but he might knock them over, so we prefer older kids. He would prefer to be your only pet, although he does like dogs his own size, so he probably could go into a home with another dog his size. Right, bud? Great dog. Ready-made dog, just waiting for a home. This is Bodhi. He is a purebred Shih Tzu. He is seven years old. He's a neutered male. He came to us as a product of a divorce situation. He is a ready-made dog. He's very housebroken, knows some commands, very good with kids. We don't know if he likes other animals or not. He has never lived with one, but we'd be willing to give it a shot if somebody was interested. Really great, really cute little dog. Thanks, Barbara, for showing us around today. My pleasure. We had a great time. So be sure to look for this and upcoming events at our library's website, ebpl.org.